Alrighty, I think that should take care of things. <laughs> The thing I was really checking for in that uh, that brief sound test was whether my fan was going to cause issues with the audio, but it seems to be largely not present, in spite of the uh, the endless cyclical uh, feedback thing going on there. But that doesn't happen as long as I don't try to listen to my stream at the same time as I'm streaming. Yeah. But without further ado, here we continue for part three of my playthrough of Escape Velocity. Classic. When last we left off, we had just taken Lucas, a man in the way I remember it, tattered robes, who nonetheless struck us as a leader. We dropped him off at Liberty Station, and he suggested that uh, I meet up with his people here at Sirius Station if I wished to provide further assistance to whatever the hell he is or what he's doing. And don't mind me as I form my customary sweep through everything that's not progress before I engage in progress. So here we are. Remembering your strange passenger, you ask the bartender if Lucas is around. He doesn't know what you're talking about, but a dark-haired man in flowing robes approaches you. We were told by Lucas that you would come here, Yui. We need someone to pick up some documents. Are you interested? Why, sure I'm interested. The man in the robe takes you to... Can't read the text, it's too small. Takes you into a back room before continuing. I am a member of a secret organization known as the Artemis Group. Our mission is one of peacekeeping and neutrality. We are paid by large corporations and use behind-the-scenes methods to make sure that all of the various factions in the galaxy stay roughly equal. Right now, I need you to retrieve some secret documents from our agent on Privateer's Haven. Once you have them, return here, and we will pay you for your services. So, Privateer's Haven... Is that the westerly? Nope, that is the southerly. So we will set our course yonder. I'm reminded that I should not be uh, necessarily chain-jumping, as I might miss an opportunity to increase my combat rating or uh, potentially pick up a useful escort. Or just kill Pirate Argosy in the hopes that I can improve my reputation locally. Eh, I shouldn't need any fuel. Damn it, I did it again. And there's a Corvette I could have captured. Oh well. Aha! Jeff Henkin. I don't know who you are, but I imagine you were an employee at, at Ambrosia Software. Well, you're a rude one, aren't you? Such rudeness will be uh, paid for with whatever credits you happen to have. Little escape pod there. I don't need the fuel, I'm gonna refuel right here. Alright, I've had enough of killing clippers. As you land, a ragged-looking woman approaches you. She hands you a single plastic card with a gold chip embedded in it. That's like our modern credit cards. 
uh, keep it safe, is all she says as she walks, walks on by and fades into the mass of people in this gritty docking area. And nothing here. And nothing I really care for. And nope, not going to deliver drugs. That'll piss off the confeds. I'm trying to get in their good graces, so let's not be running drugs. Mm, nothing I care about here. However, I do care to possibly score a Rebel Destroyer Escort. Probably take care of the pirates so they don't kill the destroyer. Alright, that was a little close. I keep forgetting that in the Nova port I can be disabled myself. And that substantially reduces the amount that I can rely on my armor to get me by. So we'll be taking a brief stop over at Leffy here to uh, seek repairs. And of course there's a pirate corvette here. Very conveniently a Lethian one as well. Uh, how, do they, how do they like me here? I wouldn't mind another Corvette in my escorts. Good, good. They don't mind too much. Just a little bit more firepower for me. Heavy rockets hurt, as that defender has just learned firsthand. Good ol' afterburner! Just, uh, run them out of missiles. Now he's firing torpedoes. Dodge those a little bit. Hello. Okay. Weapons hot. Let's employ our Corvettes a bit. trying to capture a warship of some sort. Alright, here we go. We now arrive back at Sirius Station with the little credit card thing. Secret documents. The dark-haired man in the robes meets you at the docking facility. He takes the card, puts it in a reader, and quickly scans it. Mm. It's just as we feared. The pirates are starting to unite under a new leader. He shows you the screen with a photo of a man and a short bio displayed on it. We've known for a few weeks that the pirates are preparing for something big. I will relay this information to Lucas. He may need your help on this. He's on Dune in the Arrakis system right now. 
Then to Dune we shall go. Oh, rebels. That's a warship. We still need to get our deadly combat reading. This might be a faster way than to just continually try to run them out of ammunition and use primary weapons only. I can certainly afford the torpedoes. Torpedo caused the death of the. Probably not. <sighs> oh well. Still rocking dangerous. Gotta get to deadly eventually. I'll stop off here. Get my torpedoes replenished because Dune does not carry them. Goodies for us, it's a Petrius. No? Acknowledged. Where's my particle beam? Here we go. Can't really hit very well with this thing, can I? Let's not get disabled. So we arrive at Dune, and, once in the bar, a shady-looking character approaches you. Can confirm, I am playing under a Mac. Uh, da -da 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 -da, where was I? Ah, yes, his clothing is ripped, his face is bruised and cut, and he keeps glancing about warily. I've heard that the Relentless is a fast ship, he says. This is not the mission we have in mind. This is a transport a criminal to a pirate system. We can ignore that. Let's try this again. Can confirm. Trapped. Need rescue. Send help. You recognize the man sitting at a dark booth on the other side of the bar is Lucas. As you approach him, you notice that he is reading a handheld display with an expression of great concern. Without looking up, he says, So, Yui, we, we meet again. My agents have informed me of your help with the retrieval of certain vital documents. We have another problem, though. Are you willing to accept another job from the Artemis Group? Sure, why not? I have no idea what your real goal is, but fine. I'll do anything for cash. Your assistance is appreciated. A ship in the NGC-1027 system has been disabled by pirates. Well, there's a freaking surprise. That's a pirate system. What are you doing there? Luckily, the pirates don't, didn't realize that one of my agents was on board. He can't hide forever, though, and the pirates will most likely return to finish the job. I need you to go get that agent off the ship as soon as you can. I will meet you on New Antigua as soon as you have rescued him. So rescue a guy from pirates, before the pirates kill him, and take him to a pirate stronghold. Sounds legit?
Behold the uninhabited system Vulcan, where no one really lives long or prospers. I'll take advantage of this cruiser. You're here, Mr. Gaio. Oh wow, I actually uh, nearly lost an escort there. But uh, still don't have our deadly combat rating. But to be sure, the 500 some odd crew, 527 I think, on that rebel cruiser will have pushed me along a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, and the port, the AI is just so much better than the original game that ships that you could completely ignore before are actually threatening now. And I will continue my uh, careful avoidance of spaceport bars on rebel controlled planets so I'm not forced. To change sides. How do they like me here at Spisa? Eh, if I were a good egg, I'd take out this destroyer, but uh, I'd rather have the friendly location here. What do we got? A couple Argosies. I'll help keep our reputation with Spice intact. We'll put these down quick. It's only 26 or so crew apiece, but. Whatever. And then we get another potential Corvette Escort. Can't argue with that. Whoa, let's not fly into a heavy rocket. Ooh, what's our new? Two Corvettes. Two Corvettes. I couldn't tell you, Mr. Zack. I really couldn't. For the longest time, I was saying Procyon instead of Procyon, so uh, you can't necessarily go by me. of my introduction to, to EV, I was actually referring to Confederate frigates, not as frigates, but as freights, because I just couldn't read, man. Couldn't read. Alright, that's a little more firepower. Glad to have it. What I can, however, also say is I'm not going to be abandoning many of my pronunciations anytime soon. Give me a hand, dude. I managed to get myself disabled. Very convenient for uh, this, this independent Argosy to happen in, into the system just at that moment. Don't hurt me. Good old Eevee. Beg for mercy. It works. Eevee, where the pirates have morals. What? Alright. Let us move on. We'll get this agent. I guess that'll be the thing. And we just have to... Shit. Fetch him. Get him. Go get him. You, help me. Help! Help! Where are you, Corv- What are you Corvette shooting at? He's way over here. Come here. There you go. Now help me. <laughs> oh, 
I also wonder why they made that decision. I wonder why they made the decision to disable the player at all. All right, let's get this uh, get this agent before we run into a spare uh, stray dust particle. Uh oh, land! Oh, it's just an argosy. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. So Lucas meets you as you open the hatch to your ship, the young man that you were that you rescued. Who you learned on the short trip to New Antigua was Lucas's son Joseph, shakes his father's hand warmly. And this is one of the few instances where Evie puts words into the player's mouth. I thought I went to rescue an agent of yours, you exclaim with anger in your voice. Calmly, Lucas answers you, you did. I wouldn't ask any of my agents to do things that I and my family wouldn't do as well. You see, we are all members of the Artemis Group, my family and I. Meet me again in the bar on New Istanbul in a few days. Get restocked to the extent I can. New Istanbul. Anything worthy of my attention here? Hmm. Tempting. 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 Uh, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I failed to initiate the... Come here. Right. Now I will flee like a coward. Else is out there. Just them. Argosy, nothing to worry about. All right, let's see if we can make this nice and easy. Get back here, you have to hit this bomb for me. There we go. A few more torpedoes take you out of the game. And we go right back to our space bombs. Monty Python was never so devastating as this. And as tempted as I am to board it and take that one or two percent chance of capture, I run the risk of uh, triggering the auto-destruct, so I just kind of have to shoot it if I want credit for the kill. Breaks my heart. Because I have space torpedoes? 
Maybe they are space bombs, because if they were used on the surface of a planet, they would be catastrophically devastating in their effect on atmosphere and whatnot. Maybe? Possibly? Maybe they are bombs that result in a great deal of space being opened in a particular area. It's like space bags, but explosive. <laughs> Alright, here we are on New Istanbul. And this is not the mission we need. No merchant convoys today. Here we are. As you enter the bar, you see Lucas and his son Joseph talking quietly. They motion you over. On his last spy mission, Joseph determined that the new pirate leader, Nar Akazi, is uniting the pirates for a major offensive. They aim to smash interstellar trade, loot every world they find, and destroy Confederation outposts in an attempt to tip the outcome of the Civil War. It looks like they will have the ships and the pilots to do it, too. Yui, we need your help again. Will you take Joseph to Sauron? Sure, I shall take him to the all-seeing eye. Joseph continues the briefing. We need to gather our forces together. Our most experienced pilots, a mercenary group called the Hunters, how imaginative, are on Sauron. I need to go there to brief them and rally them for the battle. This won't be an easy mission. The pirates know who you are now, and they will be looking for us. When we get to Sauron, the Hunters will help us, but until then, we're on our own. Joseph quickly says goodbye to his father and leaves to board the Relentless. I'm actually going to take a brief detour to Spisa. Like I said, my pronunciations will not be changing anytime soon. The, uh, the forced habit of 20 years. <laughs> I didn't rescue him from, from Vulcan, I rescued him from NGC 1027. But yes, welcome to EV, a game of reference. A game ahead of its time where everything was a meme. Space bombs, need my space bombs. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Can I get there? Can I get there? I cannot get there. But I will take advantage of the destroyer's distraction. I'll take these fighters a little more easily. Maybe they won't keep following me. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Where the hell am I going? Sauron. It's always my habit to continually scan a system as I'm jumping. Ow. As stated in EV Haiku's Heavy Rockets Hurt. Just some Argosies, a Corvette, a couple of Lightnings. Where are the Hunters, man? They're supposed to help us when we get here! I was promised help!
That's right. Oh, just afterburn into the atmosphere. Everything's fine. As Joseph leaves your ship, he gives you new directions. My father has traveled to Clotho Prime and is meeting with rebel leaders to try to secure help against the pirates. Proceed there and meet him. He will give you your payment. In the meantime, I will talk to the hunters. Last time I was on Clotho Prime, I was uh, meeting with Confederate agents to retrieve Particle Beam. I'm sure they'll be very happy to see me again. <laughs> Be sure to find a place to buy those for a cheaper price. As you land, Lucas steps from the crowd and greets you. After letting him know that his son arrived safely at Sauron, no one arrived safely at Sauron, he tells you about his meeting with a group of representatives from the, the militias of the many nearby systems. It did not go well at all, my friend. No one believes the pirates can unite, and even if they do, they would not be seen as a critical threat. I'm afraid they are wrong. Lucas invites you to the bar to discuss his new plan. We have one last chance, Lucas tells you as you sit down. The rebels and militias won't help us, but I know someone else who might. Will you take me to Maxwell's purchase? Lucas quickly tells you that this will not be an easy mission. The pirates, it seems, will be doing everything they can to stop you and the Artemis group. Do Oh hey, I got I got hunter escorts now. Ain't that dandy. And thanks to the Nova engine I actually have direct control over them. Which is also wonderful. Maxwell's purchase in the Cthulhu system. Very unassuming location. Ow. Rebels not watching their fire. Delicious jungle route, huh? As Lucas leaves your ship, he says, Thank you for the lift, my friend. Please go to Sauron and tell my son that all is nearly ready. The militias and rebels won't help, and perhaps I will find another here who will. Here? What? Ain't nothing happens here. As it says, farming, light manufacturing. Who here could possibly help? I kind of wonder where I, where I sell root extract. It wouldn't be a very lucrative thing, but... Just curious. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to Sauron. Oh! Well, there we go. The, uh, the mission name enlightens us as to who exactly he's asking. He's asking United Galactic Express. That's a, uh, a shipping company. And it looks like in all the stray firing, I've lost an Argosy escort. That's unfortunate, but easily enough replaced. Yeah, 
And if you will pardon me, I have a request from downstairs to take the dog out. So I'll be taking my intermission a little early. I expect to return in approximately 10 minutes per usual. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, tests in school where the, the question uh, question that follows a question often gives the solution to the previous question. But uh, as I was saying, I'm going to step away from my intermission. I should return in approximately 10 minutes. And in the meantime, I will leave you with a little bit of music and my intermission banner. Banner courtesy of Mr. Zack. And uh, the music courtesy of Dash Rantic. See you in a few.
And I return. See the chat has exploded a little bit in my absence. Let me try to catch up here. <laughs> yes, when when 11-year-old Yui was playing Eevee, he also thought it was quite serious. The hilarity didn't come until after having read Hitchhiker's Guide in early teens. All right, let us resume our course back to Sauron to meet with Joseph, I think. The course that I set before I left suggests as such, at least. Uh-oh. As you dock, dock, surely you mean land, this is a planet, Joseph approaches you. You give him his father's message. Good, good, he says. We have determined that the pirates are not ready for a fight quite yet. They are not coordinated as a group, so this is the time to strike. Come on into the bar and let me buy you one last drink before we go into battle. You hear on the news report that a convoy of 
Is this what we need? Oh. Is this... Is this the Kestrel Subassembly's mission? I think I'm gonna take this. I think I'm gonna take this. You hear on the news report that a convoy of ore freighters traveling through the Sauron system ran into an ion storm which disabled their engines yesterday. The guy sitting next to you is watching too. The crew were rescued safely, but the, the ore is still out there, he says. I hear there's a reward for whoever salvages the cargo. Sound like an interesting mission? It does indeed. What do we have? Salvage convoy. I, I don't think I've ever seen this mission before. Freighters adrift in the Sauron system and bring it back here. If I am lucky, stray weapons fire will not uh, kill things while I'm trying to do this. Come here, you. I don't want to change my target and use my place in the order. So I'm just kind of passively going to position my ship so that my weapons hit the hostel here. Alright, that'll do. Okay, maybe this isn't the Kestrel sub-assemblies. But this is certainly new. What is this? I mean, I thought I'd seen everything a dozen times. <laughs> Okay, I think that's all of them. I'll go ahead and leave the pirate disabled. Um, at least in the original EV, yes, you had to dock with every individual ship that was part of the mission, regardless of whether it actually put more cargo in your hold or not. So what do we have? We're paid a small fee for salvaging the ore from the disabled convoy. That's it? That's strange. Much, in fact, is this small fee? 1148? 10 grand? That's it? Seems odd. And I am again receiving texts. I always gotta check these to see if they're important. Pardon me once more. And this is indeed marginally important. I will step away once more for just a brief minute. Not even gonna bother throwing up the intermission. Uh, we will step away. Ever so briefly. So, yes, yes, I expected more for such an easy mission. I expected something on the order of, you know, 30 grand or something. But uh, I also expected that to start a mission chain. So here we are. Joseph buys you a synth ale. The time has come for a preemptive strike to prevent the pirates from carrying out their plans. We've located, located a staging point in the NGC-1027 system, again. And the beeping you hear presently is my reminder to take the dog out, but we don't have to do that, because I did that earlier. Will you fly out there and fight with us? Why, yes I will. I will fly around on the outskirts, while all of you die, 
and then I will dodge ordnance for a long ass time before I slowly chip away at the enemy. <sighs> Glad to have you on board one last time, Joseph says. Many of our mercenaries work as escort pilots for United Galactic Express when they aren't working for the Artemis Group. My father, with the help of the Hunters, has convinced UGE to help us out this time. Normally, UGE doesn't consider us an ally, ever since we thwarted their hostile takeover plans at the Battle of New Wessex. Notably, not actually a location on the map here in EV, which is disappointing, I'd love to know where that was. But this time, old animosities have been cast aside. Now we fight for the same goals. If we both survive, I'll buy you a drink on New Antigua. Good luck! So, go to NGC 1027 and, if memory serves, try to fight eight Kestrels. There's a reason I like to keep Spica, Spica, a friendly location. It's very handy, and they sell a select selection of goods that are very handy to have. You know, like space bombs, titanium plating. And I am one jump short of where I want to be. Also, with any luck, Completing this mission... <laughs> Completing this mission will uh, also grant me the deadly combat rating I need to continue the Confederate strain. Alright, am I all armed up? Seems that way. A little short on flares. Yes. Okay. Hornet's nest much? Alright, let's find us a nice asteroid. Hide behind. Impression is indeed something it leaves. Come here, you. It's probably a waste of torpedo, but I'll try to put you down. I killed one! I killed one! My goodness, the hail of javelin rockets is insane. Oh boy. Yeah, that's right, you start firing your torpedoes. I gotta drain you of all your ordnance before I can even consider. I hesitate to use my space bombs in this system because the asteroids are just going to detonate them fruitlessly. Nonetheless, you might be onto something. Okay. First, let's push this guy out of the way. Indeed, we want this to hit the mass.
<laughs> the damn bomb is moving faster than the lightnings. Need to be stationary. Here we go. Okay, that that should have been much, much more. I am disappointed. All right, let's just get our javelins and try to plow through these. Holy! <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever seen my, uh, my shields drop that fast. If I were playing strict play, uh, that would be quite an inconvenience. Let's try this again. Okay, uh, new strategy, new strategy. Well, it's honestly kind of the same strategy. We just dance around until they run out of ammunition. And then we'll just try to pick them off in a little more piecemeal rather than trying to take on the entire lot simultaneously. Like this little straggler right here, who's not even a lightning. We don't even care about him. Don't know what I would do without an afterburner. want to encourage them all to be firing at me. A little more, uh, a little more care in my Monty Pythoning. Yeah, javelins are hocked as something that's terribly effective against fighter craft. No, no, they're not. The impact causes them to bounce around, and everything misses. But they're cheap and they're plentiful. This might be a winning strategy. Roger. The lightnings of infinite ammunition. Yes, yes, precisely that. Come here, you. All right, boys. Sick them. And then go right back into the bay, because I don't want to risk losing you. This is this is going way too slow. All right, we have a straggler. It's probably the clipper again. Let's 
There's no shortage of lightnings, man. Maybe if I broadly weaken the group with javelins, maybe the space bomb will be more effective. Okay, I ended up eating that space bomb myself. Oh my goodness. Just can't get left alone, I tell ya. We'll just drift aimlessly for a moment. Okay. This was always much easier in the original because the AI was so bad that they didn't even shoot their weapons until after you'd really passed by. But, uh, this is indeed proving a new challenge. Come here. Come on, come on, come on. And the asteroid got it. Got a few there. Another few. And that... I wasn't paying attention. I don't remember any mines from Nova. What were those? Ah, evade! Oh, those. Yeah, I never used those at all. Now, maybe some, uh, Miranu defense pods. Those were nice. Alright, I think my best strategy here is to whittle them down with my own lightnings. Because clearly I cannot be trusted to deploy space bombs effectively. Yes, exactly, Mr. Mr. Bowen. Straggler. And another straggler, though not as straggly as I would like them to be. Give up torpedo pot shot. Did the job. Okay. Get them within visual range. Position them so that they can aim and fire. Visual range? Wait for the asteroids to pass. Fire. Good old infinite ammo fighter craft. Can't see it. There it is. Hello, Mr. Straggler. I'd be happy to take you away.
damn clipper again. Yeah. Well, that's all right. That's all right. The uh, the kestrels they're they're slow. They're slow, and they're a little more susceptible to space bombs. I hope maybe. <laughs> okay, I can pick this guy off and run. Excellent. Maybe this one too. Not so much. All right, where are you? I gotta get another hit in. No dice. Come here, you. Visual range, but not so close as to start shooting at me. Asteroids. Right. That's not really good. Two. And the hangar. Hopefully they don't get shot down. Right, we're good. We're good. There's that clipper again. That was... that was bad timing on my part. I keep trying to control my fighters independently of the rest of my escorts, and it's not going too well. I think we can handle this. My fighters will provide the little extra firepower I need. Clear this group. Oh, damn quick run. Alright. We're okay now. We're okay now. I want my escorts to return to formation, wherever they may be. I'm just going to hang out here and wait for them. Caps lock will help. Caps lock will definitely help. Uh-oh. That is not a sound I wanted to hear. And there's the sound of my escorts trying to fight in my absence. That is not what you were supposed to do. God, they're really out there, aren't they? At least employ proper engagement. Can we form up now? No, they're still flying off doing their own thing. That's right. They're dying, but that's what the escorts are for. They die, so I don't have to. Come here. Come on. Decent hit. Decent hit. Oh, 
Larger ships are also more susceptible to blast radius. Come here, you. Come this way. Pursue me zealously. Blindly. But not now, not now. I don't have a bomb ready. Uh, let's not blow up our escorts, shall we? Alright, let's just park. Alright. We need to have enough to just torpedo them down now. Let's get the rest of our escorts in on it. We can clean this right up. Photon turrets? Surely you mean neutron turrets. The Voinian turrets were, were neutron turrets. And, uh... Yui has less a laser fetish and more a... Proton turrets are heavy fetish. <laughs> now you're talking, William. Most welcome, Gio. Gio. Still haven't figured out your name. <laughs> Dude, how far away is this thing? Are you are you kidding? Are you kidding? It's been right there next to the planet the whole fucking time. I could have killed it while I was here. Okay. We, uh, we're okay. We're okay. We lost some escorts, but that's alright. Back in the bar, Joseph and Lucas buy you one last synth ale. Looks like Narakazi was somewhere in that fleet of pirates. So our immediate work here is done. But we will be back again, my friend, whenever the fragile balance of powers in this galaxy is threatened. Till we meet again, Yui. They hand you a credit chip and walk out of the bar, disappearing quickly into the crowd. Indeed, how much of a credit chip do I get paid for that? 1148, once again. 500,000. For all that trouble, I could disable the pirate gastrol. <laughs> and, good golly. Insufficient payment. Insufficient payment. Speak of the devil. Case in point, 500 grand. Any, uh, any Corvettes here to capture? No. No, I could do with another Argosy. All right. Perhaps somewhere else. And there's the Corvette I wanted. Two pirate kestrels. And a Confederate cruiser to run into the I don't... No. No, that cruiser is fucked. <laughs> that cruiser is fucked. Yo-ho-ho -ho yourself.
mosquitoes are missing. Inconvenient. These fighters can't seem to decide whether they want to be hostile or not. Vixen, what you got for me? Oh, I haven't checked my combat rating yet. I should do that. Uh, far less credits than expected, but possible escort? No. So be it. You're gonna kill this thing before I can take it, aren't you? Oh good, I got the killing blow. Very nice, very nice. We'll take a quick stop over here. Resupply our torpedoes. Check our javelins, which we apparently did not use in our final attempt. And where's our combat rating? Still dangerous. I need to kill some cruisers. Mm. Where's a good place to go to find rebel cruisers? I really don't know. I don't traditionally uh, take the Confederate side. I also don't usually have the problem of my combat rating not being high enough because of ye old bug in EV where you got credit for an extra kill for every shot you landed on a ship that was still blowing up. I mean, on the one hand, I could go to a place where the rebels like me and land and take off until I saw a cruiser. But then I'm... and I'm pissing off places that I'd like to still be able to land. Hello. What have we here? Total and complete garbage. What a disappointment. I'll take the fuel, though. I can't carry the torpedoes. I don't have enough uh, free space. Well, a destroyer here will have to suffice. I don't know if it counts toward my combat rating if my escorts get the killing blow. Uh, mostly it's a matter of my priorities. Um, every time you take something from a ship, it increases the probability that the auto-destruct will be tripped. If the ship auto-destructs, then you don't get credit for the kill. Oh, last driver on this thing. Let's, uh, let's treat that with a little more gloves. And there's a Confederate cruiser. Go figure. Alright, I am desperately low on durability. Here, I know I just destroyed a bunch of your ships, but you'll take five grand and let me land, right? Check out Cygnus. Um, as I was saying, um, because my combat rating needs to be improved, I'd rather abort and kill a ship than further risk not getting the credit. I can't say with certainty whether that's the case. That would be, uh, that would be a change for Nova, I can tell you that. 
in the original and override uh, boarding had no no bearing on whether you got credit for the kill. Getting a little desperate here. Here, I'll just kill the damn Argosy. Saw some softening some things up for me here. Now we could certainly test that if I start a new pilot with a harmless combat rating. And I could uh, throw some laser cannons on a shuttle, disable something like a light freighter. Do stuff like that. Because the, the bridge from harmless to mostly harmless is just one point, so... Uh, be a pretty easy thing to test. That is true. That is true. No tag will annoy independence. Uh, I'm not terribly enthused at doing more for Starbound shipping, but we'll do this anyway. Snatches of conversation drift over from the table next to you. Rush job. Pirates. Lucrative. One of the table's occupants, a starbound shipping officer, you realize, glances in your direction. Hey look, there's UE! Remember that job a while back? Hey Captain, you want another job? Sure. Today's been a real nightmare, says the starbound shipping rep. One of our couriers is down for engine repairs, and suddenly we have this set of documents that needs to get to Nexus ASAP. We'll load them aboard your ship. All you have to do is get them there before December 13th. That could be a problem, because Kestrel does not have one-day jumps. I have two months. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh dear god, the pirate, pirate scout ship. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Overkill. Still funny. Oh, Mr. Kestrel. Oh well. Cruiser! We have a cruiser. Cruiser, come here. I have some space bombs with your name on it. These automatic deploying flares are just useless, I tell ya. I would prefer to still have them in the original format. Frickin... Hanta. Okay. You just run out of missiles, you. So I can drag you into some bombs. Everything will be just dandy. Come and get it. No, no. Back over this way. Back over this way. Ring around the rosy. Right, you're almost there. Almost there. Come here. Come here. There we go. And I have a little bit of help, which honestly I, I do not want. Here, have a bomb. Damn it, resilient. Come here. And I actually 
don't need to screw around with you anymore. The rebel will take care of you for me. <laughs> and then I'll take care of the rebel. Yeah, let's not let's not be there. Let's be a little more careful. Come here. Well, that's only fair. I did kind of sick my escorts on him. Oh, you know what? I don't even, uh... Don't even have to bribe Opal. I can just land here. That's fine. All right, let's uh, let's get this starbound shipping thing done. How lucrative is lucrative? Point seven two. Starbound rep on hand to meet you at the Nexus Outpost spaceport. Looks relieved to see that you managed to get the documents to their destination on time. That's twice you've saved us from financial loss, he says. We'll definitely be calling on your services in the future. A meager 20 grand, but can't complain too much. Could you perhaps not fire heavy rockets toward me? Really appreciate that. Where's my combat rating sitting? Oh, hey, I got deadly now. We're good. We're good. Let's just head back up here, rearm, and we'll resume the, uh, resume the Confed storyline. That last set of rebel warships must have pushed things over. Little fortunate, too, because I was starting to look at that Confederate cruiser, thinking, 891 crew, that's a lot of points. <laughs> okay, so let's hop back to Earth. Take a stop over here. Uh, no, no search and rescue. That does not advance anything. Nothing there. Skip over to Mars. I'm just glad this trick still works to re-roll the, uh, the missions. Because the old trick of accepting something from the mission computer and aborting it does not work in Nova. Eliminate escort carrier. That's... That uh, doesn't advance anything. Tabletop lumber, that doesn't advance anything. That is indeed the only way that it works uh, in, in systems that have only one planet. In systems that have two planets, you can actually jump one to the other to re-roll the missions. That's why I always come here to... Saul when I'm trying to get missions for the Confeds. Because it's the only location 
It has two planets with bars. And, uh, I think there's some kind of it only happens on Luna mission. I don't really remember what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Tabletop. It's flat. Oh, come on. Don't be stubborn now. My good egg, I am a good egg. So that should be enough. No. No search and rescue. I've saved my share of executive transports. I'm not going to bumfuck nowhere for Aztecs Industries either. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Uh, search and rescue again. Lumber again. You know what? Is there a time limit on this? Doesn't look like it. So I can probably just kind of sit on that. And not have it screw around with things. I can probably sit on that too. Mantas are going to chase me all over the place. The one that I can't sit on is the search and rescue, because that has a time limit. And of course, failure is going to harm my legal rep. Which we don't want that to happen. Just a few stinging missiles. Everything's fine. I wish I knew what the probability was for this mission. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we can sit on that, too. The things I do to get the missions I want. But such is the cost of trying to rush through a game that really isn't intended to be rushed through. question whether I am missing something. I could just be getting unlucky. What the hell? We'll do a few of these. Just keep things moving. Maybe I need to be an upstanding citizen or some such. the escort carrier. This might... No. No, I don't want to use the fuel on it. We'll use torpedoes.
Alright, that should be enough. Oh wait, there's the, uh, the executive transport. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the Rebel and Confed stories actually start... ...with landing on any of their, their worlds. You know, you land on a Rebel world, you'll be offered something for Rebel shipping, and you land on a Confed world, you'll be offered something for Confederate shipping. The probability is something like 20%, I think. And once you get the shipping mission done, you just hang out in their territories and check the bars all the darn time. Eventually, things advance. Turn Luna, turn to Mars, turn Luna. Some missions you need a certain legal status for, others you need a combat rating for, stuff like that. Uh, I don't want to hit a rebel fre freighter convoy. They're annoying. Oh, I didn't do the uh, prospect. That's alright, we'll just keep sitting on that. No. No rebel freighter convoy killing. Give me the missions I want. Arg. I really don't want to be sitting here streaming jumping from Luna to Mars for an hour and a half. And what I'd give for a copy of Res Edit. I just go in, find what find what the problem is, and figure it out from there. Wait, wait, finally, finally, we got it, we got it. A clean-shaven man who looks to be an out-of-uniform Confederation naval officer sits down next to you. I'm sure it exists. I'm sure that plugin exists. Captain Yui, he says by way of greeting, Confed High Command has a problem that can't be dealt with through normal military chant. This isn't it. This isn't it. We think you're just the mercenary captain for the job. It may be a dangerous assignment. Are you interested? I now recognize this as a kill defectors mission, which is unfortunate, but I'll do it anyway. It's new. Here's the situation, Captain. The frigate USS Sacramento, which was on patrol near the Sol system, the system you happen to be in, uh, was supposed to put the port put into port yesterday, but is overdue. Confed intelligence gives us reason to believe that the officers and at least some of the ship's crew are intending to defect to the rebellion. Your mission is to locate and destroy the USS Sacramento. Leave no survivors, so that we may send a clear message to others considering this traitorous course of action. Roger. And I wouldn't mind so much either if. All of the confeds in the system didn't simultaneously get pissed at me for firing on a confederate ship. That's alright. That's alright. There don't happen to be any confederation ships right now. Mantas. I have to agree with that assessment. The, uh... 
normal military should be more than capable of performing that function. Well done, says your Confederation contact. The destruction of the traitors on the USS Sacramento will send a clear message to others who are being seduced by the rebellion. With the help of brave patriots like you, you, we, you will soon root out these subversives. It's like, uh... They're using mercenaries to act as the secret police. Oh, for love's... Oh, God, I don't want to deliver more lumber. At least we got a new mission under our belt. Something, at least. I should probably stop off at Earth. Rearm. Hmm. Oh, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Just leave me alone. Hmm. Hmm. What am I missing? Am I missing anything? No, let's go this way. This makes more sense. <laughs> I thought I was on a rescue mission. Whoops. That's what I get for not reading carefully. And torpedoes. And escorts. That'll clean that right up. Where do I need to land? Mars. There is not. The equivalent distance away from neutral legal record would be criminal. All right, fine. We'll, we'll take out the rebel freighter convoy. Where do we got to go? Torgo. I should have read the text before I agreed. Good golly. Torgo's a ways away. We'll take a fuel stop at Manos, the hands of fate. Master's planet in the Manos system. Master's planet is a strange world with few known inhabitants. The occasional visitor has been known to disappear on Master's planet, though so far no explanation has been found for these occurrences. It has nothing to do with the hands of fate. Escort carrier, and steal that quickly. One little freighter. One torpedo, two torpedo, next. One, two, next. One, 
Next. Nash, take care of that. How are you alive? Shall not be for long. Alrighty. Confederation operative meets you at the spaceport. Excellent work. Loss of that convoy. Severe shortages. Two weeks. Yada yada. Credits. Hundred grand. Well, am I missing? Am I missing? Am I missing any mission strings I can think of? that I could perform while I'm struggling to get this one. There's no string for the Lethe Sidonium War. I did the Artemis group. Uh, there's still starbound shipping. That, that's not really much of a string. Just uh, I can do some illegitimate deliveries for 250 grand for them. I could potentially find UGE somewhere. That would be a thing, but I just don't remember enough about it. There is no pirate string in this game. No, I think I think I'm pretty much down to the last things to do. Setting aside rare random occurrences like the Kestrel Subassembly's mission. I will absolutely not be jumping around the galaxy waiting to find th find that bulk freighter. Not gonna happen. Mr. Zack, if you are still in the audience, I would appreciate it if you would do me the favor of cracking open the the data files, and finding out what the requirements for the mission in question are, if you can even identify which which mission title corresponds. No items available for purchase on Luna? That's screwed up. Luna should be Tech 1 Outfitting. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to be hunting an escort carrier. Well, I need torpedoes. The escort carrier will wait. Where am I going? Luna. I'm afraid I don't. Uh, the mission titles are not one... That wasn't the content that I memorized as a child. They, they put the mission names so out of the way, you, you really never look at them unless you make a dedicated effort. I mean, at risk of spoilers, I will mention that the mission I am seeking involves uh, finding an alien fighter and uh, subsequently tracking down its cruiser. Okay. Executive transport is not here. 
about Terracetti. Not in Terracetti. Must be Centauri then. It's the last remaining location. Here we go. Of course, now I don't have enough fuel to get back to Saul. I'm just basically doing any mission they throw at me at this point in the interests of hopefully improving my legal rating, because hopefully that is a matter of my inability to get it. It's just something to break the monotony of bouncing from Mars to Luna. I never should have aborted the prospecting mission. They just threw it right back at me. This may be it. No, it's... Uh, trace the mission bits a little further there, Mr. Zack. Um, sounds like there's still something I need to do before that, and it means I don't know what I'm missing. That sounds right, William. Now, I don't know... I don't know what legal standing 1024 corresponds to, unfortunately. This would all be information that I would have wanted to look up in advance, but I never imagined I would run into this problem. <laughs> Who has the EV Bible handy? Are you able to determine which mission sets bit 42? I would assume it's the particle beam mission. What do I need to do? 
rescue again. Okay, and the Rebel Pursuit string is indeed the particle, mit part particle Beam string. So I have that mission bit set. This suggests to me that I n my, my limitation is the legal rating. 1024 must correspond to upstanding citizen. It's my last guess. So I need a confed world where I am an upstanding citizen. I'm good egg throughout confederation space, but still just shy. So let's go to a border that has a bar. We'll hang out in the Pollux Vega Regulus area. And we'll just blast rebels over and over until we are an upstanding citizen there. That should take care of us. Hopefully. No bar here. Let's try Vega. That seems terribly wrong. I've never had to be a pillar of society to get it. Pillar of Society is like a huge legal rating. Show me some rebels. There's one. There's my particle beam. Come here. Stay in my firing range. No, I'm, I'm very certain that Pillar of Society is not required. It could be something high. It could be Upstanding Citizen. It could be Role Model. But Pillar of Society absolutely is not.
really missing that bug from the actual EV Classic where you could just keep shooting something after it started blowing up and you just get additional credit for additional kills that aren't actually happening. Yes, yes, the particle beam made that absolutely crazy. The particle beam made that actually pretty easy to go so high up in your, your legal rating, not your combat rating, but your legal rating, that you would actually go over Pillar of Society and loop right back around to the bottom, um... Public enemy. There's a cruiser, and that should help. To be sure, to be sure. Okay. I gotta find a more sustainable way to handle these cruisers. Run out of ammo. Are you out of ammo now? Okay, let's let's not do that. Let's have them come to formation. Let them get closer so they don't waste their ammunition. And then engage. Still not an upstanding citizen. Good golly. Whoa, it's not good to play that. If I were better prepared, I might have written a little plug of my own to just artificially increase my legal status and combat rating, but no such luck. Maybe for the fourth installment, because it's not looking like I'm going to finish this in the third installment. No rebels? Come on, give me some rebels. It's not much, but I'll take it. Hmm. Well, there's a cruiser. That'll help. You know what? I'm feeling generous. Let's make these mantas go away. A little less trouble. Mm -hmm. 
next step is running this thing out of ammunition. Then we'll bring our escorts in and blast it down. Okay, guys. Let's form up. We will let the... Fed patrol, but no, oh, that's right. The Nova AI means that cruiser is going to completely ignore this patrol ship. Completely ignore it. Even if it kills it. Alright, uh, torpedo shouldn't kill it. It should piss it off. I think my torpedo missed. Yes, my torpedo missed. Alright, fine. You guys, wait there. Let me get this guy's attention. Wow, he's completely ignoring me too. Well, ignore this. I wanted to get rid of the patrol ship so that I am guaranteed to get the killing blow, but uh, so be it. Still a good egg. They're being real stubborn. Real stubborn. <laughs> yeah. That was not a thing that happened in the original. bad way here. Oh goody, a cruiser. Oh, I'm upstanding citizen now. So that should help. One, where's the last manta? Is he even there? Nope. All right. These flares are absolutely useless. Pay attention to me? Good. That means I can bribe you away. Alright. Corvettes, come along please. On needs your fire support. Okay, so how far does my upstanding citizen go? Pollux, Uridani. Not too terribly far. And only one location with a bar. So... The word supposedly is 25% chance.
Yeah, I'm, I'm quite certain that that information is incorrect. As surely both of you are well aware, Pillar of Society is a huge grind and you just don't get that far very often. What number reflects uh, legal status of role model? According to information available. Hmm. Spired Argosy has stopped showing up. Okay, I think what I'm going to do at this point, because none of this is making sense, is I'm going to try to quickly write up a plugin to solve this problem. I'm going to have to turn that off. Uh... Now, you said the mission at hand is investigate disappearances, correct? Where are you? Yeah, one will be the Rebel and one will be the, the Confed version. Where's Mission Computer? And let's crack this like so. Mission 190. Legal record ignored. And yeah, 128 does correspond to deadly, so that's that's solid. Is there anything else here that seems odd? Now that's a special ship, that's, that's not what I have to worry about.
Okay. Okay. All right, so we'll save that. We will tuck this data folder or data file into a folder to keep it safe. Plug in our edited data file. Take a quick stop off here at Mars. Quit the game and reload the game. There it is. So it is indeed a function of my legal status that was stopping me. I don't know why the legal uh, requirement is so high. It was never that high in the original. <clears throat> but here we go. I should, I think, be able to finish this up in the 45 minutes we have remaining. Yeah, very possibly there, William. So, as a man at the bar stands up to leave, he drops a data crystal in your uniform pocket and gives you a significant look. You quiet, you, yeah, quietly slip the crystal into your reader and find the message Tunnel 7 in one hour. You follow the instructions and go to Tunnel 7? I certainly do. After wandering around for almost a full hour trying to find it, you finally chance upon Maintenance Access Tunnel 7. The man from the bar is waiting for you inside. Greetings, Captain, he says, as he shows you his Confed Intelligence Bureau credentials. Boy, that's a mouthful. I'll get right to the point. We've been losing ships in the Ryza system for the past five months. You've been chosen for this mission because of your outstanding record. Go to the Ryza system, gather what information you can, and proceed to Hodgson's world for further orders. With my luck, I'm actually going to need to edit every mission that follows this one. But maybe I won't get, uh, maybe I won't be that unfortunate. Ryza. Well, nothing here. Welcome to Hodgson's world, says your contact at the Confed naval base there. Obviously, you didn't solve the mystery of the disappearing ships, but I'm sure we'll figure out the cause soon. We have another mission for you coming up. Meet me in the spaceport bar for further orders. Your Confed contact is waiting for you in the bar. Your next mission will be to escort a Confederation convoy through the Ryza system. Okay. A convoy of three Confederate light freighters carrying industrial goods to the Propus system will be passing through this sector this week. And we don't want them to fall victim to whatever has been making ships disappear in the Ryza system. Rendezvous with the convoy in the Cthune system and escort them safely to New Ireland. Why would they go through Ryza? There is no reason to go through Ryza. You could just as easily go through Matar, Polaris, and Tropus. Hmm. 
Okay, confed freighters. Confed freighters. Rendezvous complete. Onward to the unnecessarily dangerous path. Here we go at Ryza. Is there anything to worry about? There's a pirate defender. Oh noes! Interestingly, the freighters have not uh, decided to follow me. I wonder why that is. Ireland. There seems to be something important going on, says the anonymous Confederation communications officer who meets you in the landing bay. There is a priority one message waiting for you in the spaceport bar. You access the bar's comm panel and read the encrypted message waiting for you. From Admiral Sykes, CSN, Confederation Space Navy, to Captain Yui. Your help requested for a mission of utmost importance. Mission is an excursion deep into enemy territory to extract an operative of the Intelligence Bureau. Successful completion of this mission is vital, repeat vital, to the future of the Confederation. Your interest piqued, you continue reading. CBI Special Agent Sheridan has implemented a successful infiltration of the Rebel High Command for the last year. The data he has collected is now of the utmost importance to the Confederation. Fight your way through Rebel patrols to Sergio Starport to rescue Agent Sheridan, then proceed ASAP to a briefing before the Confederate Joint Chiefs on Mars. Good luck, Captain. Signed, Admiral Sykes, Confederation Space Navy. Okie dokie, then. Though, they say deep into enemy territory, it's really kind of right there on the periphery, honestly. Who wrote this? Matt Birch. Stop off fuel at Capella and get the impression I'm going to need it. My big worry right now is I'm going to come up against those alien fighters and they're not going to be completely useless like they were in the original and they're actually going to be a problem and invincible. A running firefight is taking place on the spaceport landing pad. A man with a laser pistol, presumably Agent Sheridan, escapes his pursuer's fire and dives into your ship's entry port. Let's go, he shouts. We don't have any time to waste. Joint Chiefs, Mars. Space laser pistol, indeed. If memory serves, they're going to send me over to Jim Cotta to further confirm matters. Or maybe I'm thinking of the re Rebel version. Thanks for saving my bacon on Sergil Starport, friend, Agent Sheridan tells you. Another minute and I'd have been Space Toast. There you go. There you go, Mr. Zack. Space Toast. I need to give a briefing for the Joint Chiefs in a minute, but I'm sure they'll want to talk to you next. Just wait in the bar and I'll make sure someone comes to get you. A Confederation Navy yeoman comes looking for you. Captain Yui, Admiral Sykes will see you now. Do you go with him? Of course I do. Ah, Yui, at last we meet, says Admiral Sykes as you're ushered into his office. I've heard quite a bit about your career, especially that ruby affair. He pauses for a second. The aliens are back, Captain. 
The rebels have been tracking an alien warship, one that was presumed destroyed in the Great War, moving through the fringe systems. Your mission is to pinpoint the alien's location for us. We think they're on the move toward the Trugati asteroid belt. Find the aliens, do not engage them, and return here immediately. Now, if memory serves, I will find this in the Triven system. The Outer Limits. I guess it was the Rebel version that's in Triven. Confederate version must be the one in Castor. I remember so much, but my memory is so Swiss cheesed at this point. Here we go. Alright, how lethal are you? In the Rebel storyline, you get the benefit of the tractor beam, which reduces the alien fighter's ability to turn to a manageable point. But, uh, yeah, this is not looking good for me. I'm not sure how I'm actually going to pull this off if the alien fighters are actually behaving in a logical manner. <laughs> yeah, it is... It is utterly invincible. I would need a great deal more firepower to bring this thing down. And of course, anything with impact makes it bounce around. Yeah, that's true. But they were also... a ship that you could safely ignore in the original. I'm not gonna get that luxury anymore. I'm actually kind of slowly bringing it down in the javelins, but... He's taking me down far faster. I don't have to kill him. I wasn't even supposed to engage, and I suppose I should just get the hell out of here. Because I'm about to end up disabled. So I suppose I have a new problem to solve. Well done! Admiral Sykes greets you as you exit your ship. We now know what we're dealing with. An alien battlecruiser that was missing and presumed destroyed, which we think has been hiding out on the edge of explored space since the end of the war. We're throwing together whatever ships we can to fight this alien menace. I'll meet you in the bar when I know more. Notice how he says ships, plural. <laughs> Admiral Sykes looks a bit out of place in the spaceport bar. Captain, you're not a Navy officer, so I can't order you to accept this mission. However, you're the best hope we've got, so I'm asking you, will you help us eliminate the aliens? Why, surely I will. Outstanding. I knew you'd do it, the Admiral says. We've managed to free up a cruiser. A cruiser. Singular. The USS Agamemnon. From deep space patrol duty to act as a military escort for you. Long-range probes indicate that the aliens have moved from where you last last spotted them, possibly toward the Trugati asteroid belt, again. 
Dozens of ships like these laid waste to entire planets during the Great War. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that the threat this one represents... What? Let me try that again. I'm sure I don't need to tell you the threat that this one represents to the human race. Okay, that makes sense. Locate the alien battlecruiser and terminate with extreme prejudice. Good luck. Terminate with extreme evil and hatred and whatnot. So I believe I will find him in the Alcyon system here. <laughs> he said dozens plural. Said dozens plural. Could have been more. Get my javelins back. Get my useless flares back. Could be Triven. Could be. I know it's one of these... One of these three uninhabiteds down here. Here's my cruiser escort. They don't even do me the favor of making it a proper escort. It's just kind of there. I need fuel, man. Give me fuel. Here we go. Okay, where's my Confederate cruiser? My goal, my strategy, is to dump these alien fighters on the cruiser, and hopefully they will not be able to defeat the cruiser. I would love to be deploying decoy flares right now. We're just kind of... <laughs> we are mutually orbiting this Confederate cruiser in perpetuity. <laughs> Jesus Christ, go away, man. The cruiser could be, you know, at least firing its turrets, trying to get their attention. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You're shooting at the fucking Manta? Come here. You are a distraction. Go away. <laughs> oh, hey. Fighters are... Nope. They're still on me. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to handle this. If I can't dump these fighters on the cruiser. Shoot the fighters! It could very well be Agent Sheridan in, com in, in command. Totally. Totally. Okay. Ow. Heavy fusion beam. Very much pain. Hmm. Well, ow, ow, ow. We're going to try this again. Rather than waiting for my shields to recover. Ow. So much for that. Flew right into the beam.
Well, the issue at hand is less the need for firepower, per se, and more the need for the fighters to fuck off. So my hope is that fighters will be distracted by my escorts. It's actually not occurring, and they're actually doing significant damage. How the hell... How is this happening? I don't think this is going to work, but my best shot right now. Yes, I am, I am aware of that. It's just that that was far and away easier. Far and away easier when the AI of the fighter wasn't, you know, good. No Corvettes here, huh? Gonna make me go to Earth. Oh, leave me alone. Or maybe you can... you can contribute. Roger. Alien fighters have, uh... On the old scale, 500 shields, as much as a rebel cruiser. So burst damage is extremely unlikely to uh, have sufficient effect. Sustained fire is absolutely necessary. I'm going to try to hire escorts because two Corvettes and an Argosy managed to bring the, uh, the alien fighter that I ordered them to engage down to about 70%, which was incredibly impressive. Oh, damn it. No bar on Earth. Can't hire them there. I don't think there's a bar on Yemero either. But I could be wrong. Sadly, no. Anti-Azdara tactics do not apply. Just imagine as an Azdara with the shielding of an Igazra, and you have my, my problem. The extra firepower afforded by a Kestrel probably does not justify its price. Probably. I mean, hell, if anti azdara tactics were all it was going to take, I'd space bomb the damn fighters. <laughs> okay. 
I can handle the cruiser by myself if I can get rid of fighters. Bunch of rebels here. It may prove an asset. Notably, I have no Confederation cruiser escort. Whatever happened in the Agamemnon? Hmm. Alright, find me a nice asteroid. Dump all these on. Oh boy. That did not work out. I can send my escorts to do that. I can't actually do that myself. The fighters are too fast. Why are you shooting the rebels, guys? Seriously. Get in there, gents! You see, the fighters are now attacking my escorts. Where's my particle beam? Just gotta get around you. Yeah. Right, just get away. Nope, no dice. So that'll work. It just means I kind of don't get to participate, which is a real shame. Second I start participating, the fighters eat me alive. I don't think the rebels were really participating. Ow. I'd like to see the fight, but... Oh well. Alright. Thing is dead. probably just leave. <laughs> Forget the fighters, they'll die of old age. Yeah, I don't think any of my escorts survived. Just the Argosy who couldn't keep up. Here, honor your war hero and give me fuel. <laughs> the human race has always honored its cannon fodder by honoring its leaders. The entire spaceport is buzzing with the news of your victory. Admiral Sykes makes sure to congratulate you. We can't thank you enough, Captain, he shouts, shaking your hand warmly. However, I will personally see to it that you receive adequate compensation for your valiant efforts, as well as the services of the Confederate... Uh, 
Terran Naval Yards on Muna. I'll make sure you'll be able to purchase your own Confed warships. Again, on behalf of the entire Confederation, I thank you. Ten million credits. Ten million credits. And the ability to buy a slow as molasses warship. So here they are, the ships that you get access to after quote-unquote finishing the game, to the extent one can. And uh, you get some nice descriptions. The P-361 patrol fighter, manufactured by the Terran Naval Yards, is the best starfighter ever designed! No other small ship can beat it in a dogfight. At least, no such occurrence has ever been publicly reported. The Terran Naval Yard's G-564 missile gunboat is essentially a stretched model of its cousin, the P-361 patrol fighter. It is an outgrowth of the earlier P-3 C blah, 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 P-361 design program, the gunboat's designers were able to keep keep high the parts commonality between the two ships. For example, the gunboat's unique tri-mounted wings are identical to the assemblies used by the patrol ship. The forward-mounted strikes along the fuselage hold missile racks and rocket launchers. The weird thing is... The Confed patrol ship shouldn't have any armor at all. Classically speaking, it should have 20 shields, zero armor. But they they make certain exceptions for for Nova engine. So you have here the information page for the Confed gunboat. It's kind of slow. It's unique in uh, all the Confederation ships in the it mounts laser cannons. It's a fine little ship, it's just ridiculously expensive for what it offers. And we have, of course, the Confederate frigate. Terran Naval Yards builds the FF-4237 frigate exclusively for the Confederation Navy. It is a rugged and flexible design, more than a match for the puny Atenoda Kestrel and any other escort ships. The use of this glorious ship as the backbone of the Navy's task forces will surely be sufficient to crush the Rebellion's pitiful space fleets. Space fleets. And for five million credits, this is a fine ship. <laughs> The Confederate frigate is quite slow, um, significantly slower than a Kestrel, kind of, as a matter of fact, it's slower than an Argosy, but all the same, it's got wonderful protective shielding and a good wealth of weapon space. As long as you don't have to get anywhere too quickly, it's fine. And we have, of course, the mighty Confederation Cruiser, the most expensive ship in EV at 20 million credits, which I can just barely, just barely afford. The Terran Naval Yard CR-1095 Heavy Cruiser is a natural outgrowth of the FF-4237 frigate, and indeed it resembles it closely, except for size. These glorious ships their complement of four patrol ships each will surely bring the rebellion to its knees. Oh, I am ashamed. I am ashamed. I misremember misremembered the crew count. I thought it was 891. I must be thinking of some other ship. But the crew count is 1029, which makes Confederate cruisers, really, one of the best ships 
to uh, destroy if you're trying to advance your combat rating. But as, as the frigate, Confederate cruiser, got awful slow, can't turn for shit, but uh, absolutely stunning protective values and tons of firepower, tons of weapon space. I also enjoyed that. I tried to imagine, looking at it, how a ship like this would possibly land. And I just couldn't figure out how a ship like this, shaped this way, could land anywhere. It, it, it must be limited exclusively to docking with space stations or something. No, you're absolutely right, William. You're absolutely right. They would be way too slow for the task. <laughs> I didn't think of that, actually. You could actually have uh, a trench to clamp on that fin. Jesus, I do not want to deliver deliver lumber. So one more point of uh, ego inflation that this game offers you is that you're in the news, kind of. The Confederation Navy and a heroic mercenary captain recently managed to destroy a rogue alien ship left over from the Great War. And that message will blare over the news network for, I think, a couple of months. Now, with the exception of a handful of small-scale missions like the Turin 5, Turin 5 uh, terraforming missions, which ultimately never go anywhere, um, the UGE Express missions, and the remaining Starbound missions that have not been seen. <laughs> Big damn space hero. Quite right, quite right. With the exception of those three events, and, uh, of course, the previously mentioned um, exception of the Kestrel Subassemblies mission, I've shown pretty much all there is to see. Correct, Mr. Zack, I did not do the UGE stuff. And that requires going to a pirate planet and having good luck, something to the tune of 10% chance of uh, getting that pickup. But all that string really does is enable some new missions. Astrodyne? I actually don't know what you're talking about, Astrodyne. Do you mean Aztec Industries? Centered in, in the Antares system? I can't say I know anything about that, Mr. Zack, unless it refers to the the rebels. I know part of the rebel alien string. Part of the rebel alien string sends you up to this system here to get uh, sensor logs from a sensor outpost. before I become too distracted once more. With those few exceptions mentioned, I've shown you everything there is to see in this game. 
with the exception, well, you know, other exceptions. There, it's a big galaxy. There are Easter eggs everywhere. But there is, of course, the option, which you may have noticed every time I try to bribe a planet, is the option to demand tribute from some location. Like this. And, of course, they send out a defense fleet for me too. And they'll stream ships about five at a time at you. Until you basically kill enough of them. Which could take some time. I chose Jadzia here because this should be achievable in a reasonable period of time. There are those people who have dominated the uh, stellar objects in Sol. And people report that dominating those stellars took on the order of eight hours. We will not be doing that. There you have it. I have finished off the defense fleet. Hail them again, demand tribute once more. I have dominated the planet. And tribute indeed, you receive. You receive 1,000 credits per day per tech level of the planet you've do you've dominated. So new Bavaria here has tech level three. And shit, I'm gonna lose my lightnings. The guys come back. The perks you get for dominating a stellar include no longer having to bribe the planet to land there. You can land whenever you want, you get some cash every day, little things like that. But there is, of course, the downside that they send bounty hunters after you. In the form of kestrels, like this one. Kestrels who will not uh, respond to your begging for mercy. And I just kind of want to deal with them promptly, so I'm going to go ahead and use space bombs. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. I'm going to test roll hit it. Aw, oh, you were so close. Come on, guys. Be bad at flying. Hit dangerous objects. Trying to make a point here. Come on, man. Catch up. I taunt you. I taunt you with my useless javelin rockets. There you go. <laughs> now, bounty hunters, unlike pirate kestrels, don't actually carry a bunch of cash. But you could exploit this, the fact that a bounty hunter chases you everywhere, to, uh... Capture yourself Kestrel, because no longer do you have to run around trying to find Kestrels, the Kestrels will come to you. Bounty Hunters actually do not qualify as mission ships. They never did. And as you can see, the Bounty Hunters will be uh, kind of relentless. There's a pretty strong chance you're going to run into one. Prepare to die, Yui. Good strong chance you're going to run into one in any given system you run into. Hmm. 
But I think that uh, I think that covers things. Oddly enough, well within my uh, my streaming window of three hours. Oh no, they they show up in Lego. They show up in Levo. I can actually demonstrate that. I just land and take off a few times. There you go. Here goes my Argosy. <laughs> but as I have shown everything of note that there is to see, I think I'm going to call this stream to a close. Just going to uh, release this planet from servitude. So that I don't have them chasing after me anymore. And instead I get confederate frigates chasing me. Because I'm a criminal here. I appreciate your attendance. And uh, I will... Notify Mr. Zack to spam around for me when I, uh, when I start my override stream. So you can catch that one the whole way through, instead of just the tail end. But as I say, I shall, I shall close out now. This is, as always, UE Admiral, signing out. Mirab, with sails unfurled. And thanks for watching.